Today I'm bringing out Kate and Dixie to fish inside Tampa Bay. We're going to try to catch some snook and redfish here. And the trip starts out with us catching bait. We've been down in Tampa Bay for about three weeks now. And it has been a pretty big learning curve to get to this point. But uh, anytime you're fishing in a new area, it starts with finding the bait. And you can see we do that right here. Um, this is my first time ever fishing the west coast of Florida. All my Florida fishing has always been in the Keys, and this is a completely different fishery. Um, it's a very shallow bay, and this live bait is going to be really important for us today. So I'm going to sign off, let you guys watch us catch bait, and then I'll jump back in in a minute. Let's see. So we're just going to kind of look around with the sonar. Did you see it, like how big it was on the sonar? It was like a, you yeah. see it here. So now we're starting, okay, so this is it right here. Okay. All right, just go ahead and put it in neutral. Is it in reverse? Yep, right there, that's good, yep. All right. Okay, good. So see, I might have missed it. Darn it, see how it's like off the screen now? You gotta get it when you're right on it. And we're just gonna try to stay in line with the net. So it doesn't close, but it's so, oh, see, we might get it now. It's 30 feet down now, 35 feet deep here. So like, you have to let it sink all the way down. And that's why you gotta stay on top of it. We got them, I could feel them vibrating the net. And we're gonna close. That's why we got this heavy net. I mean, it's definitely a lot harder to throw, but we got eye a lot of fish. Oh my God, look at this. Yeah, we got a whole bunch. <laughs> yeah, it's probably enough. Dixie, is this amazing? Is this blowing your puppy mind? Some of, like these ones you could even throw back. I really want the pilchards, Which the one? smooth ones. Like these um, are the pilchards here. These are the ones I really want. After catching that bait, we are ready to start fishing. And you're gonna see it does not take long for us to hook and do a snook. Um, we filled our live well up with live bait and we also kept a lot of bait for fishing cut bait. And what we found is that the chunk bait outfished the live bait. Um, with the exception, at sunset, the live bait seemed to start working better. So maybe it's just the time of day. But uh, we did really well with cut bait. Um, I hope you guys watch this video all the way through because we do catch a bunch of fish. We get the Tampa Bay Slam, the Snook, Redfish, and Sea Trout. And uh, Kate has a snook right here. And I have to say, uh, I love these snook. Uh, me being a big striped bass guide, uh, I'd say pound for pound, these snook out fight stripers. Um, they jump, they're more aggressive, and uh, they're just a beautiful fish. Uh, so here you can see what we're using for bait. Uh, so we're cutting up our pilchards. I'm just using a pair of uh, scissors and cutting the head and tail off and just fishing that middle chunk of meat. Uh, and that just worked really well. We're fishing on the flats here. You see there's uh, mangroves. And uh, you know, right when you hook these snook, they do try to get into those mangroves. But um, we're fishing these unweighted and we're fishing anywhere from a foot and a half to three feet of water. And that's one thing I do love about my boat, the 23 Deep V Pathfinder, is that it is a really versatile boat because in Tampa Bay, you'll see most guys are fishing bay boats, and I understand why that is, um, uh, if I lived in Tampa Bay, I'd probably have a bay boat, but 
What's cool about this boat is I could still get into you know, 16, 17, 18 inches of water. So we're fishing here is, is probably less than two feet of water. Um, and uh, having that, you know, Minn Kota trolling motor um, is uh, key in this shallow water. Um, but back to our technique here. Um, now we're fishing this cut bait and we're also chumming a lot. So we cut up a lot of the bait to use for chum. You see I have a chum boat, uh, chum bat in the boat and uh, that's, this is a great fish. It just jump in like crazy. Again, I, I love these snook. I love the way these fish bite. Um, but uh, we're chumming uh, quite a bit to draw in fish and it just worked really well. Now, um, as I said earlier, we've been down here for about three weeks. Um, this is uh, a month long trip to Tampa Bay and uh, it was a big learning curve. Um, lures were really tough to, to get fish to react to it. I also think part of the reason we came down in January and it was very cold, the water temperature was down to 60 degrees and these fish get really lethargic. Now we've had a few days of warm weather. It's been sunny out, so our, our water temp is 70 degrees, and I'm sure that has something to do with these fish being more aggressive. Uh, but uh, the cut bait, uh, I'm not sure if it's because the winter time, but the cut bait seems to work really well. Now, um, I'm using a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader and a 2.0 owner octopus hook. Um, I used two different hooks. I used the octopus hook, which is a J hook. Uh, that seemed to work really well for the snook. And the reds, they seemed to really swallow the bait. So uh, I did experiment with the 2.0 owner circle hook. I found that that worked really well with the reds, but the snook, I didn't have as good of a, a hookup ratio. But, uh, you know, I'm not really sure. Uh, this is my first time fishing. Um, in this area so I'd have to experiment more with these hooks now uh, the tackle is pretty light tackle and I just think the best all-around rod for for this uh, kind of flats fishing is the uh, G Loomis E6 X rod it's a great rod for this uh, and the model I'm using is the 843 SF um, and you have to use pretty light braid uh, you want to be able to cast these baits out and get them spread out away from the boat. So I'm using um, 15 pound Power Pro Super Slick, and that's on a Shimada Stratic 4000. It's just a great setup for this type of fishing. Uh, another thing, too, uh, we were fishing three rods at a time, and we had a lot of success uh, fishing with the rod in the rod holder. You know, there's an old saying the best fisherman in the boat is Rodney the rod holder, and I found that to be. Uh, true that you just let the, these fish hook themselves uh, and that worked really well for us um, I'm gonna sign off in a minute here. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video uh, This is a really great afternoon of fishing uh, So watch this video through the end we get the Tampa Bay slam which is the snook redfish and sea trout and uh, a bunch of double headers here and uh, just some really great fishing. Um, thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, if you like these videos, press the like button. That helps me out a bunch. Thanks. Right, it's a snook. It's a, no, it's a trout. Oh, it's a trout. It's a trout. It's a new species. That's our grand slam. Steer him right over here. That's a nice looking fish. Let's see. I've never, this is uh, my first sea trout in Tampa Bay. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, those have some fangs. Oh, good. Oh, oh we got two. Yeah. Seems like we keep getting them at the I same know. time. Oh, look at them jump. Here, you want to come under me? There we go. Like oh, geez, jumping like crazy.
See how your, your the meat slid up the line too. <laughs> I think you, you know what? I think you got a red fish. Yeah, you got a red. That's a red. All right, Mr. Schnooks. All right, hang, hang tight with yours for a second. I gotta get mine off the hook. And I have a lab that's trying to eat them. All right. Okay. All right, one second, I'm gonna let mine go, okay? All right. Oh yeah, nice red. Big old red, red. All right, that's good. You actually just reel through out there. Oh, don't let go of the rod. I think we're we're moving. All right, let me see him. Uh, he wasn't as big as the other one. This is a nice size red, though. I think it's bigger than our first one. Look at that. Yeah. You want to see what? The, oh, damn, Dixie. Look at inside his mouth real quick. Let's check these out. See with the molars? See the molars down there? That's oh, how yeah, they crush wow. it. See that? Wow. Isn't that cool? Dixie, stop it. All right, you want to take a quick picture? There we go. I got him. Little snook. The snook jump a lot. Oh. Even if it's little for me. Yep, yeah, we can practice. Yep, yeah, we'll do a practice shot. No, Dixie. I'll just get that. Look out. No. Okay. All right. Ready? Snook. Double. Oh, we got a, we got a double header. <laughs> you gotta try to pump a little bit. Like watch, like pump and then reel, and then pump and then reel. No, no, they're gonna get tangled. Pull your rod tip to the right and try to pull yours to the right, and I'll pull mine. Actually, I'm gonna come under you. Fix your move. Okay. They're too snook. You got it, you good, you got it. Snook. It's like snook him. Oh, shit. Okay, got him. Yeah, you wanna hold yours there for a second? Actually, maybe we'll take a, you could hold mine and take a picture with mine because mine's bigger. Okay, let's mine go. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. They're strong, aren't they? Yeah. Like for the size? All right, let me see yours. Okay, and then just stick your, Rod right in that rod holder there. Oh, oh hold on, hold on, not yet. We gotta get the fish off. Okay, there he goes. Okay, okay, good. Oh, see? That dead snook just got ate by an osprey. Look, the os the os we just had him. All right, ready? All right, you're gonna grab this fish. What? Then you could ho hold him like you held the red fish? Yeah. Like that? Okay, got him? No. And then go. Right over the side of the boat. Oh, oh. Whoop. Oh. hold up, hold them like you're gonna let them go in the water. Okay. Oh, so do I want to be on the other side? Yeah, no, right here, right here. Oh, you got it. Oh, okay, never mind. We're <laughs> not doing too good with pictures. No. <laughs> well, 
Maybe it's better if if you take the picture of the next one yeah. and I'll hold the fish and we'll do it right over the side of the water. And what we're gonna try to do is like, so we'll do it right here. There's no